New Sam, check it out. Your Doctor Who set. I found it. Not buying it for you though. Hey everybody, I'm back here at Sam's. I'm Lego Lover Woman Seven, by the way, and yeah, I like Sam's apparently. This is the third time I've been here in these vlogs. What's that back there? Oh boy. It's the Phantom Menace Steelbook. That's definitely going to be purchased. Not by me. I can see why they've hidden the prequels back there. Hey! Hi, Junior Grievous. Nice to see you. I find something interesting about the Steelbooks. Yoda's the only hero on the cover, because if you look, there's Stormtrooper for Empire Strikes Back, Darth Vader for A New Hope. Right. Back there. You can see. And Darth Maul for that. And then Grievous. For Revenge of the Sith, and then, Pal and then Palpatine for Return of the Jedi, which is down there. But yeah, Yoda's the only hero. I think they're trying to tell us something about Yoda, or maybe with that face he's saying, mm, "Take on five of you jerkwads, I can." Why are these being mass produced? I don't, I don't understand the purpose of these. I don't, I don't like it. It looks like a, like a canister. It doesn't make sense to me, at least. At the price I paid for Hunger Games and Catching Fire, was still less than paying for this for $12, so, or 13 actually, so I don't think that'll be purchased today. I don't think I'll be doing any purchasing today, actually, because there's no Thomas stuff, no Thomas stuff, so, yeah. Oh, well, that's nice. American Heroes Blu-ray collection, apparently you get, oops, Air Force One, In the Line of Fire, and Olympus Has Fallen. All three on Blu-ray for twenty dollars. I already own Air Force One, so but that's a good deal, actually. That's actually nice. I found your favorite movie, Eric Pierre. Am I the only one who's sad this hasn't come down in price yet? Like I'm sad. Like it's still thirty-five dollars, almost forty, and it's on DVD too. Like, come on. Anybody up for Star Trek? Got the whole series here at Sam's. 50 bucks. Get it while it lasts. Oh, hi, Palpy. You're all the way down here. You. Look at Palpatine. Look at him. Isn't he doing well for himself? We're just gonna leave him down there because he's a jerk. And I found Taj's favorite movie. I'm finding everybody's favorite movie here. Oh, scratch that. There's Thomas stuff. Thomas stuff I already own. Yeah! That's, that's interesting. Maybe they're trying to get people to buy Terminator Genesis. I actually would have bought Terminator Genesis at Target because I had it on sale for 11 bucks, but uh, I didn't. Because, you know, I like the movie, but I don't want to pay 11 bucks for it. Why do I keep looking at this? I, I hate the movie, but that Darth Maul packaging, though, which is it's so nice. I'm going to put it on top of that. You know what? We're going to put... Grievous on top of that because Grievous is cool. I think this is the one where you don't get no wait, you get Kingdom of the Crystal Skull in there. Never mind. Never mind. We'll put that down. Well, they don't have much Thomas stuff, but they do have Chuggington. I see escapades. Who the frick cares? I certainly don't. Yeah, there's not really much anything new to look at really except stuff that got taken away from last time I was here but you know that's what happens when you're gone for like how long has it been like three weeks maybe a month it feels like yesterday hey look I found Taj it's Taj he's on the ultra high definition curve TV this is a nice TV though for real though if it didn't have Taj on it it'd make it a million times better because Taj is a noob you know what's sad is this is the cheapest I've seen a Disney Infinity figure go for. That's sad, man. That's really sad. But hey, it's cheap. So I might buy it. Probably not, though. Z-O-M-G Fallout 4 is out, guys. I don't care. Dude, everybody at my school, like, literally almost everybody was flipping out over Fallout 4. I'm like, eh, I just want Battlefront. 
but I don't want to buy an Xbox One to play Battlefront. This thing is extremely small. Look at this. It's a, it's an HP stream. I should have, I should have got this, man. Look how small it is. Nah, but for real, for real, I like my Asus. Not to say HP's a bad company or anything. I just like my Asus. That's, that's interesting. I could use that actually. Ah, uh, desktop computers. Desktops that nobody uses anymore and are seven hundred dollars a piece. It's only because they're touchscreen. I think. Yep, that's green. A lot of them are out of stock because of the Black Friday sales, but you know, whatever. You know, they all have Windows 10 now. They're all updated to Windows 10, which isn't bad. I like Windows 10. I'm getting used to it. Hey, Impezel, is this your second monitor? I think it is. It's real nice and sleek looking. I like it, but I like my HP monitor for my desktop better. Because it's HP and not Samsung. What? I didn't say that. Printers. Look at these things. Like, who would buy this? I mean, it's nice, but... I wouldn't buy it. That's saying something coming from me. So I'm outside of Sam's right now, and it is foggy as hell out here. I swear. So right now that's going to be it for the vlog. Because I'm not in Sam's anymore. I'm getting ready to... Get ready to go home. Not driving in this foggy, though. It's too foggy for me. Too foggy for me, man. So, epic zoom in on the Sam's logo right there. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.